So again, thank you guys for being here. I have an interesting question. It's a little easier to ask this in the States than here, but do either one of you smoke cannabis? Yes. You do. You enjoy cannabis. <laughs> Perfect. I appreciate the honesty. Sometimes people get a little worried. No, I don't want to admit that on camera. That's not a problem. In, in, uh, so with cannabis, do you know the difference between like an indica and a sativa? Have you ever heard yes, of that? I do, yes. Perfect. So <laughs> what I was told back in the day is that indica is the more sort of when you smoke it, you're tired and you sleep on the couch. Sativa is yeah. more uppity and more creative. Yeah. So I figured I'd do something with one of my favorite things. Do you smoke cannabis yourself? I love it. And uh, anywhere I can find it, I try to. For instance, right here, look at a little cannabis nugget. <laughs> now, this one is an indica, but I'm lucky because I prefer sativa and I've brought one of each, an indica and a sativa. And they do a little bit of a magic trick. Um, it's kind of hard to follow, but I'll show you. If I take the indica, place that in my left hand, the sativa in my right, watch. If I just shake, they switch places. It's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. No, it does get better, I promise, it gets better. We'll do what's called the cannabis countdown. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The indica jumps over and joins the sativa. That's pretty cool, indica and sativa. Now, if you were to smoke, what one do you think you would prefer? An indica that makes you sort of tired and lethargic, or a sativa that's a little more uppity? I'd rather the party one. The party one, perfect. And which one was that? Hard to yeah, tell, right? Yeah, right? I'll give you the sativa. So I'm gonna have you hold your left hand out. I'm gonna place this in your hand and your job is easy, to not let me steal it from your hand, okay? So you've let me do it three times already. No, I'm kidding, <laughs> squeeze tight. You've got sativa, I've got indica, watch. I'm gonna get the indica, or the sativa from your, oh, okay, sometimes it doesn't work. That's weird. Sometimes it actually backfires and instead of going to my hand, they both go to your hands. <laughs> now when you have an indica and a sativa together they call that a hybrid okay so i'm going to try this with you i'm going to give you the indica and the sativa squeeze them both tight put your hand a little more so the camera can see and i've got one third one here that's the hybrid the cool thing is it does the exact same thing from mine to yours you should have all three get out of here <laughs> now here's the thing one thing you should Dropped it on the floor. One thing you should never do is mix cannabis with math. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. If I take one in the hand, two in the hand, and one goes in the pocket, how many should be in the hand? Two. Logic says two, magic says three. We'll try again. If I put one in the hand, two in the hand, and one goes in the pocket, we think it's two, magic says three. I know it's confusing and frustrating. I understand that. So here, we'll do this. We'll actually get rid of one altogether. We'll get rid of two altogether and we'll focus just on that one. This is pretty wild. You know what you really do with cannabis? Is you turn it into something that you can use, like a spliff. I need a lighter. I think I have one somewhere. Actually, we don't even need a lighter. This is one of those amazing never-ending spliffs that no matter how many, I'm sorry, no matter how many times I get rid of it, it keeps coming back. It's like, I wish I had a dealer like this back in high school. You know, never run out. No matter what, you've always got extra spliffs. So there's one for each of you. Enjoy the party. Nice. Thanks for coming. Very cool. Thank awesome. Very cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will take them because they'll give you a headache. This is the schwag weed.